Hi. Hi. Hopefully some people start coming in soon. Yeah. Welcome. So how was your so how was your weekend? Um, it was busy. It was very busy. I do a lot of reorganizing of the house, taking away our summer clothes and getting out the winter clothes. Oh, do you, oh I, don't, I don't do that. <laughs> Everything's all mixed together. <laughs> you know, there, we just don't have enough space. So where do you put the stuff that isn't seasonal? Um, I put it in these packing cubes and then we sh I put them in storage bins and stick them in the closet or suitcase. Oh, okay. You don't seal them, you know, how some people suck out the air. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, no. but just like individual little bags so that they're somewhat organized. It's Hiba. Is it, it's Hiba or Hiba? Hiba. Anyway, she's gorgeous. How are you? She's Texan. Oh, yeah, hi. And, and she's fabulous. And she has um, a luxury beauty channel too. And um, yeah, she's, she's great. So I'll put your, hopefully these will come up. Yeah. There you go. Hello, hello. <laughs> How was your weekend? It's Monday for you, right? Monday morning? Yeah, so I got up at uh, five because this whole daylight saving like we're on daylight saving you guys have now come back haven't you you've fallen back an hour and then it changed again so I was always putting my videos up at 11 o'clock at night my time and I like to stay up for about half an hour or so so if there's a couple of comments then at least I could answer before I go to bed but now because of this whole hour change it was getting to like to keep it at that time I'd have to be up at one in the morning so I said to Tony I think what I'll start doing and I did it this morning I put it up at when I got, I got up at five and went to bed early and got up at five and then, yeah, it didn't seem to make a difference. So I think that's what I'll keep doing actually. So, yeah. That's way too early to get up. But I love the mornings and I love staying up late at night. <laughs> so, so my ideal day would be get up early in the morning, have a nap in the afternoon for like an hour and then stay up late at night. That would be my ideal day. Um, my dad sent me an email and it was like this, there was a video in the email about how napping reduces your risk of either heart attack or stroke. So that oh, allegedly 67, there's a 67%. Um, it increases, it decreases your likelihood of having one of those by 67% or something by if you take a nap. So I think I should start taking naps. Oh, no, I take naps when I can. And it's ideal about between, but I'm a heavy sleeper. So when I go to sleep, even a nap, I'm like out to it. And um, I have to really set an alarm because I'll sleep like two hours. And then if I sleep like two hours. You wake up feeling worse than you went to sleep almost. It's right. <clears throat> and I've got my espresso machine back because that was service last week and I was out the, without that for a week. And <laughs> I heard. That wasn't good. But I've got it back now, so I'm very happy. <laughs> now you can have your morning espresso. Yeah. I drink a lot of coffee. I have like five or six cups a day or something. That'll keep so they better make good coffee in America when I come mm -hmm. there. I I don't know. I don't drink it. So well, don't don't you either, just Tony. What do you drink? Do you drink tea? No. Or diet coke. Yeah, it's Tony bad. doesn't drink coffee or tea either. He drinks um sugar free V's. I don't know those. Oh, I like an energy drink. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. But I don't like those. But um, and I drink for something cold, like you. I drink uh, diet tonic water, flavored or mm, it's just tonic water. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have that there? I don't know. Do you I have... think so. I mean, people mix it with it's alcohol. Soda. It's just called tonic water. It has yeah. a taste all on its own, right? Mm. Oh, yes. It makes me think of alcohol. <laughs> Yes, I got to have my Diet Coke. And I'm, I don't know. Oh, it's 
Let's see, I'm a big, I'm a big coffee drinker. And um, and with the week that I didn't have it, I went to the supermarket and got these sachet things. Like, and it said it was strong, and it wasn't. But then I make really strong coffee. Um, instant cappuccino things. They were the saddest little things. <laughs> I was convincing myself they were good, but they weren't. <laughs> well, at least you have your machine back, and now you can go back to your coffee, your espresso. So it's uh, 12 past 11 in the morning here, and it's a little bit, um, of course, it's warmer now because um, we're in spring, and uh, but it's a little bit overcast today, but that's good. Won't get too hot during this live, so it's good. Well, it's nice and sunny here. I actually have to put on a little bit of uh, moisturizer first. I always do that before makeup, and I just use my um, my sunscreen for that because it's like a skincare one. So I'm just going to put that on so it sits for a minute or two, especially under my eyes. <laughs> I'm using the Tom Ford primer. That's good. That and the Hourglass are my favorite ones. Oh, there's Liana. I really like it. Hello. Hello. It was Liana's birthday yesterday, and I forgot. So I Happy birthday, birthday, Liana. <laughs> Did you celebrate all weekend? <laughs> she partied. You got an extra hour of partying. <laughs> I'm going to use the NARS foundation. I don't have a new foundation. Um, if anyone has tried the House Labs, is that how you say it? Their foundation? I want to know. I'm really, really curious. I'm wondering if I should pick it up during the Sephora sale because I still have time to place an order. But I don't know if I want it. I don't know. I don't think we get that here. Has it had good reviews? I think I have watched one or two. I, I think, can't remember. I think that the foundation got good reviews. So that's why I was kind of thinking I would try it. I partied hard at work and it bought me then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll put on some primer. I'll use the hourglass one because I'm going to put on the new. It's still new, even though it's about three months old, isn't it? <laughs> the new hourglass foundation. So I'll put that on today. So. Yeah, I haven't tried a lot of new foundations lately. So I'm, I was thinking maybe I would pick that one up since I could get it at Sephora. Well, it's good now that I've got the right shade. The hourglass? Yeah, the 6.5, yeah. Had it, I got it initially in five. I'll give that. No, I might sell that, actually. I only used it twice, I think. Um, so I'll sell that one, I think, because it's, yeah. I think I'll well, I have one. two of them because the first one that they sent me was, I don't know if it got opened in shipping or what, but it was kind of opened, so they sent me another one. I'm just going to move this a bit closer. Hopefully my laptop doesn't fall because I seem to be very far away. <laughs> I've already got so much room in here. <laughs> it's all right. People can still see. All right. I love that foundation. It's Is so that the light reflecting one? Yep. Mm, that's good. It's so good. A lot of good foundations this year. A lot. Because at the very beginning of the year, I think the first one I tried was um, the Suku one, and that's gorgeous. That is really good. Yeah, a lot of good foundations. Right. I'm going to use a beauty blender to put this on. And I've got a mirror just here, so I'm looking at that. <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I am priming my eyes with the Chanel Cream Shadow and Scintillants. What are those like? I was talking to someone about them the other day, and they thought they were, weren't good. They're, it's really, really good. Oh, I okay. haven't tried any other colors. I probably should just to see how they work, but I absolutely love this shade. It's a... Really pretty, like light pink, champagne ish, champagne type color. Oh, that's who I saw a video on doing that. <laughs> Was you, Liana? I knew I'd seen one. All right. I'm going to try it, Liana. 
I'm going to pick it up. I don't normally like celebrity brands, so I was hesitant to try it. Yeah. But it's gotten, I thought it had gotten really good reviews, so... The only celebrity brand um, that I was ever interested in, and I can't easily get her products, so, but I've got some, and I knew she'd be good because of the way she is, and that is um, Victoria Beckham. Mm. But I knew hers would be good. She's a little bit different. I think so. I think she kind of transitioned from celebrity to more fashion, beauty yeah. type person. Um. But I agree. Her stuff is really, really good. The Victoria Beckham. And I did see that their lipsticks right now are buy two, get one free. Oh, okay. So I think I'm going to pick up a couple new shades. I think I put too much foundation on, but that's all right. I'll just... <laughs> so your beauty blender's good. <laughs> you don't use beauty blenders, eh? I don't. They're actually really good, and I quite like using them um, in the summer when I'm using a foundation that's a little bit more, because I would say the Hourglass one is sort of a matte foundation, and I also like it in the summer too when it's warm because it's nice and cool when you put it on. I've tried using them. I just, I don't know. I think it was. was a, product in. <laughs> I think that it was a, a time thing. The brush is very quick for me. And I felt like the beauty blender just took forever. No, it doesn't, even though I've spent five minutes doing it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So I, no, it doesn't actually. You get used to it. But I quite like it because it does press product in a bit. So, yeah. But That's when I was little, like I? high school, when I was in high school and I was putting makeup on, I used um, those little like triangle sponge things. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's I what those, I use, I mean, which is very similar, like basically a beauty blender. So it is. And then I started using my fingers, and it wasn't until probably in the last 10 years that I started using a brush. I would just use my fingers. I've used a brush for quite a few years. What was the first brush I used? What are those brushes called? Real Techniques? Yeah. I think I, that was the first, possibly a Bobby Brown one. I haven't got either of them anymore, but the Bobby Brown one is quite good, isn't it? I'll put some concealer on now. I'll use the yeah. Chanel one, the new. I am using the new Chanel as well. But and this is the brush I use now to put it on, the Sicily oh, one. Oh, the Sicily one. Because you can take out a tiny, I just make sure I clean this like with my cinnamon secrets after each time. You know, give it a wipe on the cloth so it's yeah all done. And then this is what I use each time, so I can dip it, dip it in. That's a really good idea. And it's not messy, so that's what I've been doing. It's really good. It's just really to put it on in the first place, and then I still just like tap it on with my fingers. But it's just to get the product out. It makes it a whole lot messier. Um, um whole lot. Um cleaner putting it on i think that it's a great concealer it is i yeah. think that it it is messy it's so messy just going through the comments like it's just a hot mess every time i use it and open it i get concealer all over my hands that gulan foundation is amazing I mean, all apart from um, the Hermes thing, whatever they put out this year, which was just terrible, all the other ones that I tried this year have actually been very good. I mean, just some are just just that little bit better. And Guerlain uh, one is amazing. I need amazing. to I need to get that Guerlain one. It gives a beautiful finish to the skin. It's sort of hard to describe. It's sort of blurring and just gorgeous. I need to get it. Oh, I had the comments, like, I didn't see them. Okay. That's my fault. 
See, I've got to take, because <laughs> I'm older, um, I've got to take ages putting my concealer on. I don't know. As, um, I used to be able to slap it on, but I can't, I can't do that anymore. It's a bit of a process. So, Does yours get as messy as mine? What, the concealer jar, you mean? Like every yeah. time I open it, I get concealer on my hands. Yeah. It stays on. I think even like when I've tapped it under my eyes and then it sort of goes all over there. But I have it on a place on the table here and you get used to using it. It's just, but the product's so good that it's fine. <laughs> no, you're, I mean, the product is amazing, but I really just am frustrated how messy it is. Oh, you still haven't got your, the concealer. I think you'll love it. Yes. See, I got the, um, see, I've got the matte one in the Guerlain, and then it's not matte. I mean, I wouldn't even call it soft matte. Is it more like a natural finish? Uh, yeah, it is. It's more like the um, NARS finish, maybe, okay. like that. It's not like this one. I think the hourglass one. See, if I was in a real rush, like I just want to put a foundation on and I wouldn't really have to powder this. It might be different in the middle of summer, but at the moment, the way it feels, I don't really have to powder it. And that's the hourglass one. So the Guerlain one's not like that. That's, I do feel like I have to powder that, you know, so... I just like the powder, the way it leaves my skin soft. Yeah, I've got the, I am going to put powder on today. I've got the La Prairie one, so I'll put that on in a minute. That is. Ski, I'm with you. Next level That's powder. Maybe what I should do. It's a shame, though, you've got to do that, isn't it? I mean. It is, but I'm telling you, I feel like I'm wasting so much product every time I open it. Well. Get the brush. <laughs> <sighs> it's frustrating. It is. I'm going to go with bronzer, and I'm going to use the bronzer that's in the new Hourglass palettes. I never picked up those this year. They did come here, and I skipped it. I mean, nothing wrong with them because the ones last year were gorgeous. But there's only so much. I just right. decided that I'm not going to get everything. I'm trying to be a little bit more selective. I still haven't picked up any Chanel holiday yet. Well, um, the Chanel eyeshadow is a fail for me. Oh, yeah, because they're all the same. Yeah, they really are all the same. Now, I thought uh, Heba had a beautiful look with hers. And yes. so I, think it's, I think it might just be better on darker skin. It might like be a darker skin complexion, because um, on my my complexion, they all look the same. And I just it thought reminds me good. if I got it, it would only be, um, which is a shame, but a quad where I'd use one or two of the shadows at a time, and that would be it. Right. Yeah, which would be that'd be a bit of a shame. So I want that um, out of it all. I want the nail polishes. The um, especially that olivey is it olive one, and I want the um, Mademoiselle the body gel. Yeah, they're the two main things that I want from that. <laughs> did you ski? Did you find those uh, airless pump jars on Amazon? Yeah, I, I said, think I said in my first video with that concealer, but I wish that, I mean, the packaging looks beautiful, but it's not practical, and that's the problem. Whereas I think if they'd put it in a different sublimage, some sort of, because some of them, uh, the sublimage products have that beautiful ombre effect. They could have had that and just a normal concealer. Yeah. Thing. I think that would have been lovely. Right, even with that. like the 
the wand that they normally have. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I was going to use a Sicily powder. Hopefully, I don't bring too much. Smells good. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that don't like fragrance in their makeup. I do. <laughs> it's I think a cool it's nice. fragrance. Mm. It's nice. All right. So I have two. I wasn't sure what I wanted to wear, and I still don't know. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury face palette, which I just absolutely love. But I also have the new Chanel Luminous Powder, which I think is pretty too. It is. I'm still not sure whether I'll get that though. I don't know. It's pretty. It's not necessary. You don't need it, but it is very pretty. So I think I'll start with the blush and the Charlotte Tilbury and then maybe I'll use the Chanel highlighter. We'll see. Oh, yes. I'm very curious about that. Right. What next? What are you, I think are you the sure darker doing? of the, uh, the two palettes would look really, really pretty on you, Hiva. Like the, the um, medium to dark. They're so pretty. I'm going to use for bronzer Gulan. <laughs> The terracotta light ones I'm going to use. I'm going to use two. So um, I'll use this one as the medium warm. So I'll put that one on first. I mean, look at that highlight that it gives, though. It's a, such a glow. I will definitely have to buff, though, because that's really really bright the uh gucci blushes are lovely the rosy beige so i've got rosy beige and the other one i've got is warm berry but i'm tempted to get another one or two but they're over a hundred dollars here really mm. <laughs> i um i have a video that'll go up later today it's processing but i used um the Gucci blush in radiant pink. And I thought that was really pretty too. I really liked it. I do the think the of... blushes, the ones with the orchid, they are gorgeous. I've got the coral and the pink and they are, yeah, really, really beautiful. I would agree with that. I like the sleep blushes as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which over hundred dollars? Yes, they are. <laughs> <coughs> That's crazy. It's um, yeah, the prices here of things. Uh, I want to also get because it is in New Zealand now. The Hermes um, from Selfridges. I got for the fall winter. I got one lipstick and um, but the nail, there's just two nail polishes and I want to get the gunmetal one. I think that would be quite nice. I want to get um, an Hermes the... nail polish. Yeah, I haven't tried one yet. I haven't no. either. Mm. And I'm very curious. So this is now the cooler one that I'm... <laughs> I'll be bronzed. But... Hi, Marsha. Marsha had a birthday yesterday awesome. too. I think they're $101 here. I don't know. I'd have to have a look again, but I haven't. No, I did buy one, but there was a sale at Sephora because we get a lot of um, Sephora sales here. We get, like, it seems to be like every six weeks or, I don't know, pretty generous here. But we don't have the range of products that you guys get over there, though. So, But they do have Gucci, and I did pick up the Warm Berry. I think I got 20% off, so. How, okay, uh, that's what I, my next question was going to be, what are your sales? When Sephora has a sale, is it just standard 20% for everybody? Um, They have different ones. So they have sales like you guys, your one's just finishing, that they have the different levels. So we don't, our levels are white, no, gold, black, 
gold, white, black. <laughs> That's our tiers. So um, so they have sales like that. So it could be 30% for me because I'm on the top one. And then, but other times they just have, yep, yeah, we're having a sale in two days and it's 20% off store wide. It might exclude Dyson or something like that. But other than that, pretty much, pretty much everything, whereas Mecca, that has a lot of the brands like I love, like Dupteek and Tom Ford and all those ones, they really have a sale. And when they do, it's, to me, it reminds me of the Beautylish sales where they're getting rid of stuff that won't sell. <laughs> so, which is a bit of a shame, but. That is. Because even like our department stores have sales. But they've got the monopoly, you see. So this is a problem in a small country. So someone like Mecca, they, they've they really got the monopoly. So they don't need to have the sales. Whereas right. if a competing one started up, or Sephora started stocking some of the brands that Mecca had, or they've got, there's some that cross over, but say they started like Tom Ford and things like that, and um, then you might see more sales with Mecca. Um, but Mecca sell Diptyque. So, <laughs> so you're, you're a frequent flyer there. Yeah, I am. Hi, Marsha. I'm glad you could be here too. I need to watch your latest video, actually. So I'll do that today. Can, can you get someone from the States to mail you the Gucci blushes? They're 50 US dollars here. Well, our dollar is crap at the moment. <laughs> so $50 US, it's not $100 New Zealand, but I'm going to have a quick look. But it's, I don't think it's great. Let me have a quick check. It fluctuates up and down, but at the moment it's not so great. Um, US to NZ. I'm going to start doing my eyes and I'm going to use the Pat McGrath um, Bronze okay. Bliss. So 50 US dollars equals 85 New Zealand dollars, and it's quite expensive for people to post from the States to here as well. So it does. Uh, yeah. It ends up being the same. Or possibly more expensive. So, but from me to mail, because I haven't done a giveaway for a while now, but my last giveaway, um, when I sent something, the price to send it was a lot cheaper than it was a year ago. I think it was just more expensive during the pandemic and that, but I think it cost me $30 and someone got it when I sent one to Europe and another giveaway, one went to America and both times I think it cost me 30 or $35, which I thought was really reasonable. So I forget how much it was when I mailed you that stuff. It was quite dear. Was it like $27, $30 also? I don't remember. I it was more. More? Well, it might not have been, but then considering that the parcel was small. <laughs> it was just a little bitty eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So I'm going to put on the Dior one, and I'm going to put on from the holiday, and this is the one cosmic eyes so that's a very similar color story yeah pat mcgrath one would be far more punch to it though i mean oh, i mean this is gorgeous but i imagine pat mcgrath one will be a lot more punchy it's really pretty i can say that yeah and that's the problem because I also have a place, I've talked about this before, and New Zealand Post have a place where I can forward ship things to and then they send it here. And sometimes I use it, but not a lot. It ends up really even, and I'd have to get something on sale in the US, even if it was 20 or 30% off, but by the time I've got to pay for the postage to come from the States to here, it ends up being about the same price 
But if there's something I really want, like I am thinking about getting more Victoria Beckham things, I really want to try her bronzer. And Colt Beauty never have it. Um, and maybe I should get the next time she has a sale, then I might get a bit of quite a bit of Victoria Beckham and do that. That's a lot of money, Ski. $70. I just start doing my eyeshadow because you're really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Quicker than me. Just, it doesn't take long, especially this, you know. Just go. In oh, I got another brush, another, um, the crease one, this one. Oh, you bought a second one? Yeah, the classic crease, yeah. Both of mine are dirty right now. I need to wash all my brushes. I haven't washed it yet, which I need to do. So I'll show you how much they, so this is the one that I've been using. This is the one that's just going to show us how much they bloom when you've washed yeah. them. They do bloom a lot. So it definitely needs to, I mean, I could use it, but I need to wash it first. They are definitely better when they're washed. Leanna, I love, 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 love this palette. It is Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think it's really, really pretty. It's dark. Right. And there is a lot of shimmer shades, but I just go in lightly and it's it works. All right. I think I've, I haven't got that palette, Liana. I was, out of all her holiday release, that is the one that I looked at, and then I thought it was perhaps just too much. But then I saw Liz's video on it, and now I want it. So I think you'll really like it, Liana. It's so pretty. I love that you can hear the birds, Maria. Oh, can you hear them? <laughs> I feel like in my videos, the background is sirens. And in your videos, it's birds. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between city living and country living. Yes, Tony will be home soon. So next you'll hear the dogs probably, though, or Patriot mainly. But he just makes a big thing out of if anyone comes home. Yeah. That's why otherwise, I have... otherwise you don't hear them. They're not you know, they don't bark all the time or anything, but um I have my little Yorkie mm. in the room with me so that if someone comes home, he doesn't bark because he won't know. Cause otherwise he goes crazy. Um the little schnauzer that we've got, Stephen. I didn't name him. My son did. This is my son's dog. <laughs> He's like 15 now or something. And he will bark if strangers come. Whereas the other two, he doesn't like strangers. But schnauzers are guard dogs. You know, that's what they were bred for. So he's doing, he's doing his job, you know. So Yeah. Whereas bloodhounds in Newfoundlands. That's not what they're bred for. Well, my dogs bark, but they don't attack. <laughs> you know, they stand at the top. Oh, ankle biter. I'd be like, get off my ankle. <laughs> they, they stand at the top of the stairs and they bark every night when my husband gets home. Because he gets home at like midnight and I'm sound asleep. So they bark and they wake me up, but they don't ever leave. They don't go downstairs to see who it is or anything. They just... They just bark. So that is annoying. For eyeliner, I'm going to go in with this Chanel liner. And I don't know if this is new or just new to me, but I really, really like it. Did you pick up the new mm -hmm. Sonia G set? Yes. I love them. I really, really? I mm. really, really like them. Yeah. 
it's really good. I just wash them. I need to play around with them more with, um, you know, what they were designed for, what they were, what they were made for. I mean, they, you can use them with any shadow, but I just want to use them even more with cream ones and that. Yeah, they do work really well with um, powder, but you're right. I would like to use them a little bit more with cream, which I have not done yet. But I did use it um, with the Pat McGrath, and they worked really well because these are a really like a creamy powder. Yeah. You know, so I thought that they worked really well with that. And I think they're really good too because you get like some more payoff than you would perhaps with some other brushes because the way they are. Yeah, they're. And I forgot to look to see if they were sold out. I meant to do that. See, they will look gorgeous on you, those palettes. Gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to those videos. I have barking dogs, so I'm muting myself. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to soon as well, but um, not much I can do about it. In the meantime, you can listen to the birds. <laughs> Someone, Someone who said to me over, would I talk to them um, sometimes over, um, you know, voice message? And they said it's like you're in a, what did they say? Oh, in a Snow White movie. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I am love... standing there with the bears. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not like that. <laughs> Oh, yes, Solomon howling at the siren. When he, and it's the saddest howl. It's like he, it's the saddest thing. He also um, does that if he's met another dog that is on heat. He'll come home and do that all, nearly all night. And it's the tragic thing. But when we lived in town, of course, we lived near, um, if someone rings emergency and it's the fire department that they want, then there's a, a siren that goes. And we lived not really close to it, but depending on where the wind went, you could hear it quite easily from the house. So Solomon would do that. And here in um, the town of Pataru, which is actually, I think it's about, would that be 15? Oh, how many miles? I don't know, 10 miles away, something like that. But if the wind's in the right direction, again, you can hear the siren. And um, so away Solomon goes. I don't know why he doesn't. It's weird. Bye, Marsha. Have a good birthday dinner. Bye. Thanks for coming. I am using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I have really, really been liking it. It's good. It's really good. I it's used to wear it all the time. Really, really good. Yeah. Bobby Brown, I mean, like Mac, it's just that it's been around for ages. But yeah. They are a good, dependable brand, you know, and there's nothing wrong with their shadows. I mean, it's not like Tom Ford the latest ones, but there's nothing wrong with them. You know, right. they blend well, they last well. I think, you know, they're really beautiful. They are. Oh, look, you've nearly finished. Stop it. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, you'll be waiting for me. <laughs> I'm quick. I am quick. You are. Okay, now I'm not sure which one to put on. There's the two different golds here. I think I'll put on the lighter one. Just need to find the right brush. This is the Sicily Lip Liner in Chocolate, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite lip liner of all time. 
And I'm going to go in with the new Chanel Rouge Olor lipsticks. And I'm going to use 209 Alter Ego. I think it's really pretty. I really, really like this Chanel formula. Did you see the next Dior thing that's coming out in the packaging, that leopard packaging? Yes. That is gorgeous. <laughs> the packaging a lot. I don't know that it's going to come to the States. Do you think it will? No. I don't think it's coming to the UK, which leads me to believe that maybe it's going to not come to the States as well. Probably, I mean, not all the time, but sometimes we do. Even if it's just an age and release, sometimes we get that. Yeah, it's you pretty might. Random. I mean, I can't, I, yeah, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Bye, Heba. Have a nice night. Thank you for joining. Bye. Yeah, you're because oftentimes you're part of the Asian market. Same with yeah, and the same with um, Bobby Brown. That can happen too. Sometimes we get that with the um, with the Pacific Asian Pacific drop, and sometimes we get that as well. I don't know why they choose. And yeah, we didn't get. I had to get that from um, America. We never ended up getting the. Bobby Brown, that jade stone here. Really? No. Or the other one. I can't remember what it's called now. Is it... So where did you get it from? I got it from America. I got it from Macy's. Really? And I used that forwarding thing, but it was cheap too. It's, well, they were, they were quite cheap, those pallets. So that was Right. Fine. Well, when it first came out, it was like on sale. Yeah. So, I mean, that ended up being... So when I saw the price, I thought, well, that's worth it, me doing that, you know, and getting it forwarded to that address because Macy's don't ship here. And not They do, but not beauty products. And that's with a lot. It's like Nordstrom as well. They're the same. But they will ship to my forwarding address, but they won't ship the stuff to New Zealand. That's so frustrating. I don't know. It must be something at our end. You know, some of the, the laws we have in that, I don't know. But it's still, that's so frustrating. So you're paying U.S. taxes and then you're No, I don't have to pay U.S. taxes. Okay. Because it's a forwarding? I think so. I never no. end up paying any. Okay. Um, but, of course, I've got to pay, it's called GST here, for 15. Right. Well, when it gets sent to that place, the New Zealand Post place, Um they then say something's at the warehouse and then I've got to upload the receipt, take a screenshot of it, attach it to that file so that, um, and then you say this is how much, G and then they work out how much GST is on it and I've got to pay that and that gets paid to our government. Okay. Well, no, I was concerned that you were having to pay our taxes because you were buying it here and shipping it somewhere here and then also the New okay. Zealand... I don't think so. It hasn't, because I know you do. You have the different taxes for the different states and that, don't yeah. you? But it never seems to know for some reason. Okay. I might have once or twice, but not each time, because I have looked at that, and it doesn't seem to be happening. So I don't know. Well, no, that's, do it that that's good. I was worried you were paying double. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> but the Bob. But the Bobby Brown, because it was so cheap over there and it really went on sale as soon as it, that's why I got it because it was worth it for me. Because if those pallets had come here, they would have been well over $100 here each. So it was worthwhile, you know, me getting yeah. them from there. Yeah. So I have to sort of just think, weigh it up and see whether it's worthwhile. It's just crazy. But we haven't received the Bobby Brown holiday one yet. That's the one in the 
it's got more of the shimmer shades and things in yeah. it. And products. Yeah, we haven't got that yet. Is, it ha is that the one with like the cheek highlight thing in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. So we haven't got that yet. <laughs> so it can be just really, really random. And it's like Mac. Mac does the same thing. Sometimes we get things really early here. Sometimes we don't. And right. a lot of the time we get releases here of Mac that you guys don't get. Right. I remember there was that face palette earlier this year or last year that you guys got and we never got it. Mm. So I don't know. I, I mean, obviously there's a reason for it, the market, or uh, it all comes down to money in the end. So, you know, obviously they've got, they release it where they're going to make money. And <laughs> I better not put it right there. You won't see me. I'll do it here. <laughs> what mascara are you using? Uh, Chanel Le Volume. I'm all out of Chanel Le Volume. I used, I used it all. But the, um, I've got a few in my drawer. I do try, try because I don't like to waste them. Right. The YSL, the Lash Clash. Have you ever used that? No, I have a sample of it. Um, in my that, drawer. That is, actually, I should have used that today. No, but I won't now. But um, it actually is very good. Yeah. I'm going to open it. I just need to get through some of these mascaras. I have so many open mascaras. And that is one that I want to try. I also have a sample of the Rare Beauty that I want to try. So I've got some, I've got plenty to use. And I did just pick up the Tower 28. And I was not that big of a fan. And now that's interesting because I've seen that on Everybody and people raving about it, but people used to rave about that rare beauty rubbish as well. And that's terrible, that mascara. <laughs> well, I'll let you know what I think because I'm I finally got a sample of it. I'm gonna try it. Well, I got one and then everyone was raving about it so much that I thought maybe I got a dud. So when there was a sale at Sephora here, I picked up another one. It's just the same. Really? Does it flake or what's the issue? It's spidery looking and dry and you get those spider lashes and it doesn't layer and I've got a layer because I don't have long eyelashes and so I need to layer and layer <laughs> and just keep layering. I don't layer enough probably, but. And I am hopeless at putting on false lashes. But when I do, which is not very often, I do love them. I have so many false lashes and I just never wear them because I, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know how to put them on. <laughs> why, <clears throat> why are you scared of them? I don't know. I should probably like watch a um, YouTube video or something on them. I haven't tried the Calibre Mascara. So I can't say, but I have heard several people love it. But I have got it. yes, I've heard that's really good too. I've watched lots of videos on putting on false lashes, like you're supposed to look down. <laughs> I have I've only I've, when I say I've put them on, like hardly ever. The last time was last year, and they were and they're nice lashes. They are Charlotte Tilbury ones. And I put them on successfully, and Tony just thought they were just amazing. He's going, oh, my God, your eyes with the big fluttery lash. <laughs> he loved them. But That's I worn them. awesome. I didn't even know Charlotte Tilbury had lashes. Yeah. I've got them somewhere here. Because I need to wear more. them more. I'm not going to put them on today. Well, don't put them on today, but I want you to put them on, and let me see. Okay, I will. I'll have to have another go. But the problem is when you're using and, and that doesn't work, then your lashes start to stick to get, you know, if you don't get it right the first time, it's... Were they it's individual sense. lashes or was it like a strip? A strip. Okay. Now, what blush are you using today? It is from the Dior one. So this is the, is it Cosmic Coral or... Oh, yeah, and I've also I, got the other one, the Galactic Red one, which is really beautiful too. But yeah, the, I picked up that Galactic Red, but it's with my Herod's order that hasn't shipped yet. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a really beautiful blush. And initially, when I first saw the promo photos of it, I thought it was like um, the Chanel, was it the Bron Rossi one? But yeah. it's not. Oh, really? No, but it's still beautiful, but it's not the same as that. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'm excited to get my Herod's order. They had a 10% off beauty, and I picked up the new um, perfume from Mason. What is it? Mason Francis Kirkajan, the 724. I picked that up. And I picked up the new Dior Holiday. I'm just going to, um, right here, I'm still going to stay here, but I just want to, just a sec. <laughs> what? I'm just going to grab, um, oh, here they are. I'll show you my Charlotte Tilbury lashes. I'm not putting them on, but I'll just show them to you. <laughs> I honestly did not even know Charlotte Tilbury had lashes. Really? Huh. And how it shows in the picture, that is the difference. So if you can get them on, that and they're really, because I don't like really, really long ones, I wouldn't put those on, but these are, I'll take them out. Um, they're really pretty. I'll show you. Look how nice. Ooh, those are long. Oh, are they? Oh, I didn't think no one tell me like that. But it does with the, I mean, it's probably something I should practice, but it always if it, if it ruins the mascara, I should probably just do it. Well, can you not on a day where I just don't have any eyeshadow on and just put a mascara and just practice putting them on or something like that. Maybe that's what I need to do. Can you just not wear mascara? Yeah, you can. I suppose for practice. And then once I got good at it, then yeah, then the mascara first and then the lashes. Because they do look nice. They do. I would like to be better at wearing them. To clip the strip lashes in a few pieces. So do you cut them? Yeah, that's what... I usually have to cut mine because they're always too long for my eye. Yeah. So... But for people with really big eyes, yeah, they, yeah I'm the same. But yeah, I'd like to, I have so many and I buy them. I keep buying them. I buy them and I think that I'm going to use them and then I never do. Did you get any of the Dior, um, um, is it Mil Milfori? Is that how you pronounce it? That collection? Did you get no, any of that? I, I got it all and I still haven't done a video on it yet. So I'm, even though I know it's late, but you can still get, get it. And I even picked up, I wasn't sure, but I ended up getting the eyeshadow palette and it's actually really pretty. So if you've got the lipsticks that go with it and the, yeah, it's all, yeah, it's just very, very pretty. I thought really the packaging stuff. was gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was so gorgeous, but I just didn't, no, I didn't get anything. Mm. No, it's beautiful. I've got the candle and of course I've got a candle. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a problem with candles. I'm going to send you all of my like earthy woodsy candles. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love them. So the one that I've got now, it's going. I don't know if you can see it because it's in the black. So it's not, but um, that's the beige one. And yeah. I and I love the uh, other one, which I don't think you liked, the amber. Mm -hmm. Teak amber is just gorgeous. You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> I like a nice floral scent too, if it's nice. But see, I don't like, um, I mean, I'll use it. I think I've got a spare one and I got one in that Diptyque Advent calendar, the tuberose. It's, it's, it's almost too overpowering. Or maybe I need to burn it with another candle, but it's, I like quite, that one. it's quite overpowering. Hmm. The Not one, sure. so I was, I called Diptyque or I emailed Diptyque. They sent me a new candle, but it wasn't the one that I should have gotten. So they, I should have gotten like mimosa or something. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. I don't know if that's how you say it. So I emailed him back and I said, this isn't the candle I was supposed to get. I wasn't sure if you purposely sent me the wrong one. 
And they're like, no, we, we sent you the one you, you got because we're all out of the other one. And I was like, yeah. but Wait. I don't want that scent. And I told him, I was like, well, I'm disappointed because I was really looking forward to that other, the mimosa one. And it's also, I mean, the advent calendar is, a, calendar is an expensive thing. So, you know, I mean, it's great. I'll use everything that I've got in it. There's a perfume that came in it that's got, um, and I don't know because I'm not very familiar with the Diptyque perfumes, but I will. It has like orange in it. So that, that's really nice. Really nice. I was surprised at how the perfumes smelled. They're really, really nice. Mm. I've got one. You can see it on the. Oh, that one. It's the Ilio one. Um, but if you, it's. It, Reminds me of, um, it's similar to Guerlain. <laughs> smells like that a little bit, yeah. It's probably the same notes or whatever. Yeah. No, I, I really liked it. And I, I'm glad I got the advent calendar because now I can know which, which scents I like and which scents I can get bigger candles in. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure. And I, I go to the store, I smell them, but by the time I get home, I forget. Mm. And I find, I find too in um, a store, I start you start spraying different ones, and it just they still start mingling together, and then I can't right. quite work it out. Um, I love a lot of the Chanel, the uh, Le Exclusives line. That is, they are gorgeous. I like gorgeous. Those. And I did get for my first time a Miss Dior perfume with that collection. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that is a nice one. I have samples of that. That's really good. Via my vanity. Oh, thank you. Similar eye shape and age range. Yeah. It does make a difference when you get old. It does. Decade to decade, you'll be astounded how much things change. <laughs> I'm just going to keep putting all that skincare on so that I don't <laughs> age. <laughs> I'm trying not to age. Yeah. So maybe because the next live we do will be on your channel. So um, I suppose we could also chat about the best or face of best holiday or something. No, yeah, like that, that'll be like the end of December ish. So we'll, or maybe we'll November. do it early, early or late. I don't know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where are we? No, 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 no. We'll It'll be the end of December. November, beginning yeah. of December. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see clearly, I don't know what month it is or where <laughs> we are in, in the month. One of I don't know where the year has gone. It's like, um, and I've already started getting um, a couple of gifts, like for Harrison. I'm determined to be more organised when it comes to presents this year. I'd like them all done and dusted by the end of November. That's a pretty big task. It is. And I'm going to put up the tree on the last weekend of November as well this year. So I, because it takes me forever to put them, to do it. So I want to enjoy them for like at least four weeks. Well, I'm trying to convince my husband to put it up next weekend. Well, that is really. But I mean, I'm, bring on the Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, bring it is up. lovely. Yeah. I love Christmas. I love the Christmas tree with all the lights and the ornaments. I just love it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so do I. It's, um. It's a really nice, more, it takes me half a day to do it, I suppose, to set it all up and that, but it is really lovely when it's done. And I always go and get some new Christmas decorations as well. And actually this shop is really close to where I live um, because it's a touristy area, area here where people stop on their way to other places. So there's a couple of really nice shops and they have beautiful decorations. So I'll probably go there. Aging is a privilege, not afforded to all. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I mean, I do spend a lot on skincare and then, which I'm going to do a video on soon, you know, I was gifted that LED 
face mask and the neck thing and that. And I use all these things and I know it's not going to make me look younger. I mean, I don't have false expectations of things, but I just <clears> want <throat> my skin to look the best it can for the age that I am. And if I can get that, then I'm happy. Then I think a product's doing its job. Yeah. You know, clear skin, it's not congested. It looks healthy. So it's all um, a good base for my makeup. But then really that's what I'm after. Yes. All right. So favorite brand holiday pieces. We can do that. They've been there's been some good releases this year. There has. Maybe I better get a couple of things of Chanel before then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you decide what you were going to get, if anything? I'm going to get, I, I really want just um, the body gel, the Mademoiselle body gel. I'm really into body creams and um, the Chanel body creams. I've got now a Chance one and the Mademoiselle body cream, but then there's that gel, that new one that came out for the Christmas. So I really want that. And I want the nail polishes. And possibly, possibly the highlighter, the one that you got. Yeah. I don't think, sort of, <laughs> I'm sort of back and forth about the quad all the time. I think, well, maybe I should get it and see what I can do with it. Or uh, what about those um, eye gel things? No. Now, I saw a video on that where someone used them and they put them over the top and it brought that quad to life a little bit more. Yeah. But <clears throat> I don't – they're quite sticky, I think, so I wouldn't like that on my eyes. No, and I don't like the sticky on my face either. No. So, I mean, I'm happy with the, the Guerlain, the gel, the gloss gel that I got. I think I, that's lovely. I, I watched her video on that this morning. That looks really pretty. Mm. I don't think I use it on my face because um, I don't like that tacky, balmy on my face. But I thought it looked really, really pretty on the lips. It does. And although I've, yeah, so I put it on and it is a sticky tacky here. But when I... um the video and I powdered over the top of it, it was fine and you couldn't feel that anymore and you still got that glow. I thought, yeah, so that sort of worked. Yeah, so I'm – and I thought that lipstick that you picked up, that Guerlain lipstick, was gorgeous. That, yeah. I was I saw a video on it and it's interesting because on different people it looks different and I can't remember who it was because I'd already ordered it by then. And I was like, oh, that looks quite dark. No. Like, and so I thought, mm. but no, it's it's the shade I thought it would look like on me. I think it's, you would love the shade. I, I'm going to get the lipstick. I After yeah. watching your video, I was like, oh, yeah, that's my color. And it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. And then with that, I mean, you don't have to because the lipstick's gorgeous just by itself. But with that gel over the top, it's really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Mm. I think I'm going to pass on the bronzer because I think it's going to be the same as what I already have. It is. It's the medium one. So it's the one like, um, it's not the same because this is the terracotta bronzer, but it's the same shade range. I have got a medium. I just got it because I just, I wasn't going to get the Guerlain Quad because. I so this was last Guerlain. year's and it's the same shade as last year's. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't, <coughs> I'm not going to get it because this is the me number three medium warm. Yeah. But it is beautiful. So if yeah. you don't have a Guerlain bronzer, this is gorgeous. Uh, and I like the um, number four in the cool in the uh, bronzer as well I put on today. This is the terracotta ones. I think these bronzers for the Guerlain are my favorites. They are the terracotta range. I've got three of them, I think. So I think I've got three cool and three warm and four cool. And then the other bronzer that I got this year, I've got enough Guerlain bronzers now, the B one, you know, they had the B on it. Oh, yeah. But I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Why haven't you used it? 
because the overspray will go and I don't want to. The yeah, overspray is definitely going to go. I know. I can't so, find my other girl on bronzer. There it is. I tell you the other bronzers though that I love that I think are soft and beautiful and that are those Sicily ones, the trio that come. It's shocking. Oh, good. Right? Mm. Did you get the lighter shade or the darker shade? I got the lighter shade, but I wouldn't mind picking up the deeper one as well. But the lighter shade, if you just want that hint of warmth and it's like Sisley and those brands, and they probably are, they're made for with the more mature skin in mind. They just mm -hmm. are. So it's things are soft when you put them on. Where as like the Charlotte Tilbury powder bronzer, I haven't reached for that for ages, and I probably won't buy another one. And if I do a declutter, I'll probably get rid of it. It hasn't got, it doesn't give that softness that I like in a bronzer. Whereas the Guerlain, Sicily, um, another one I'm thinking of, Le Mere, that they didn't you know that they don't make anymore. That had the three in it as well. Yeah. That's beautiful too. Just really soft and and pretty yeah no this um bronzer really surprised me and even this little the blush is really pretty well really i suppose it's like the without the um sparkle in it they're like the terracotta the gulan terracotta lights really yeah and i haven't um, tried mixing all three together you know that's what they like they've got those different shades in it Maybe. And that's probably why I love these and love that because really it's almost the same. All right, now I'm going to have to try mixing all three. Oh, I mix, yeah, definitely mix all three. And because I just that's, mix yeah. the browns and then I go in with the pink as like a black. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So which is this one, this one, yeah, this is the deep cool and it's not really what I'd say that deep anyway, really. And mine is medium. But yeah, yours is definitely deeper. It's nice though. I think mm -hmm. you'd like this one. I think I would too. Mm. So I, I put, put the warm on and then I go over with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. But no, actually, when, yeah. So I think the Sicily, I mean, they're almost, so I think that's why I like the Sicily because it's pretty much very close to the Galan one. Yeah. They're very pretty. Um, after watching Marie's round, definitely pick up the Guerlain lipstick too. Yeah. That Guerlain lipstick was so pretty. So, so pretty. The Royal Jungle quad is gorgeous. So that one I said in my video, but the Royal Jungle, Majestic Rose and Imperial Moon are my three favorite quads out of, and that's why I didn't get the holiday one because I know there would be slight differences, but to me it was a mixture of exotic something and whatever the other one was oh metal butterfly it's a it was like a mixture of those two, of those two a little bit so and i don't reach for them so i thought there was no point reading me in getting the the holiday quad i still have royal jungle that i haven't used yet i need to i need to open it up and use it the tom um those tom ford quads they're good. Yeah, they're good. They're better. The color stories of those are better than the other three he put out this year. Now, I know the formula is the same, but I think that these color stories are better. That violet sateen is just gorgeous. See, and I reach for the velour khaki more. But they are beautiful. And I can't wait for next year when he has um, that other, I don't know. It's like rose something. Oh, that's right. It's doing that rose prick thing again. Yeah. Packaging, but different. Yeah. I think it looks really pretty. But there seems to be a lot that's going to come out with that collection. See, again, I'm wondering whether you'll get everything. I imagine um, Japan, Asia will. But will everyone else get everything? I don't know. See, this is what happens. with. We didn't last year. I don't think we got everything last year. So I'm thinking it'll be the same thing. We won't get everything. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the time. It's quarter past 12. So um, <clears throat> I think.
think it's time to wrap it all up and all right good well thank so you guys all watching. for watching and commenting and talking with us yeah we have it. A, I love doing these live, so I'm glad we get to do them every month. It's great. Good to catch up. It is. It's nice and to like me. talk face to face. <laughs> I still put up with the holiday quad. I'm just that kind of witch. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the Gulan one? <laughs> what I'm did sure I pick up? And I've tried to be a lot better, especially the last few months. If I buy something, I'm going to do a video on it. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy it. And one, but I didn't, and that was the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is it the Rose Medals? Or the medal? You should do one. I should. Hmm. I, just, I think I would like that. The other things got in the way. But yeah. I mean, I've tried this. So I've tried to not just buy absolutely everything new that comes my way. I mean, I've got to, I do have a think about it. I think, Will I use it? Will I do a video on it? So um, because otherwise I have things that I don't touch and that's that's not good. <laughs> no, you don't want to be wasteful either. No. But I do think you should do a video. I would like to see it. <laughs> I did a short, but um, yeah. yeah but I, I, need did, to, I, need to I need to see the long video with the telling me which colors you're using and stuff yeah so i need to i mean because there's a few bits and pieces and so i could just do a video with some other things you know blush and lipstick and things like that try and match it all together and just do a video like that so maybe um there's a few things i've still got to do yet i got that bigger um dior holiday palette you know the quint and the blushes and the highlight Ooh, yeah so i'm gonna do that video this week i think yeah so i'll do that probably tomorrow and oh, yes. there's tons of this huge decluttering I need to do, but I'll probably put those up in December. Um, and they'll have to be in different parts. And then I've got this huge bag of empties. I need to start counting my empties because my goal was to use ten thousand dollars this year, and I need to add it up. Oh, right. Yeah. I've been keeping track. So as I empty it, I write it down. But I haven't I haven't added. Hi, I've been a lot better. Hi, Lock. I've been a lot better with my skincare. I was just buying skincare left, right. <laughs> I'm using what I've got. The only thing that I am doing, and that's because there was a sale, which was a miracle in itself, at Smith & Coe's here in New Zealand that sell Lemire, La Prairie, all that sort of stuff. So I am building up a small collection of Lemire skincare. There's still a couple more things that I want to get. And once I've got all the things that I'll use for a full skincare routine, then I will use it, you know, all the products at the same time. And then, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that for at least a good three months and then maybe doing a video on Lemire and see what I think of it. There's still some other things I have to. I wouldn't skip using my retinol, and there's AHAs that I use and a BHA in the morning, but everything else, yeah, I can use off Lemire. So um, yeah, and just see, just see what it's what it's like. Well, that's where the bulk of my empties, cost wise, will come from is skincare. Yeah, just because it's so much more expensive than makeup. Mm. It mm. is, yeah. How close I get? I might get there. It depends I mean, what you're buying. I mean, if you're buying skincare that's Sicily and La Mer and La I Prairie, went, well, I went long. through um a few La Prairie. I went through like an eye serum that's five hundred and fifty dollars. Well, just buy um a La Prairie Platinum holiday set and you will spend ten thousand dollars <laughs> yeah i don't i don't have that crazy yeah i don't crazy have i mean i spend a lot on skincare too but there are limits and um no <laughs> not going near la prairie platinum no me either i can, I I can do, all i can do to afford the 
the just the regular line. Yeah, I mean, at the moment and for the past, it's like, it has lasted ages, though. Um, I've got the um, La Prairie the, and the eye cream that I use in the evenings. I've had that for months now, and I'm pretty generous with my skin care, and that doesn't <laughs> hardly use any. And it is lovely. It is really lovely. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. That's my eye yeah. cream right now. And I have a backup already, so. And I've got a sample Lamia one, but I will... Um, that I was given ages ago, but I think that's probably one of the other things I want to get before I start the whole Lemire routine is I think I'm missing an under eye cream because the, the little Lemire, sample that gives you won't last long. The Lemire eye concentrate's really good. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's I had one. a sample of their, I think it's called like the intense eye balm or something. I was yeah. not. A, so I oh, did yeah, and luckily it was just a sample, but I decluttered the sample before I even finished it. I didn't, I didn't like oh, it, but I've the the eye concentrates really, really good. Oh, I got the infused lotion. I'm just having a look. Um, yeah, and I think for the moisturizer, I've got um, is it called the Cool Gel because it's more for oily skin. But I still wouldn't mind getting the original one for night because at night, I don't care how thick a moisturizer is, the thicker the better. I don't mind. You know, it's just during the day, I've got to go easy with stuff. Otherwise, I get too oily. But for at night, it's fine. I even sometimes, my last step, put an oil on. I don't care. I look like a glazed donut, but I don't care. <laughs> Tony yeah. says, you're very, you're very shiny. <laughs> I've been using this um, Natura Bisse, like ultra rich cream at night. It's really thick. I could never wear it during the day. Like it would never, ever work during. The other thing I do with a cream, if I've got a sample or like in the advent calendar or they've given me, and it is thick and I'm using so many different things. I put it on my, that's how I do my neck and, and decollete. I put them on there. So you've even got yeah. more moisture. Um, sort of anything locked in overnight that's where I tend to put it but I have also been using a New Zealand skincare brand and it is gorgeous what is it love it mm, it's really good what's it called Emma Emma Lewisom oh okay and that, she's that's now what's selling what's um she's now selling her products in, in Mecca that big plate yeah so she's got it here in New Zealand and Australia, and her products are beautiful. Love them. Mm, really, really I remember, good. Is that the, were you using the cleansing balm? Um, what have I got of hers? I had it's called the Skin Reset Serum, although it's a bit thicker than a serum. And at the moment, I've got it's a it's called the Illuminating exfoliating cleanser or something it's called and um i've been using i don't use that every night every second or third night and that is beautiful and she um also has two different creams one that's more lighter one that's super rich which i'm thinking of picking up and getting for my neck and decollete so i think i'm running out of products for that so i might pick up that and put that on at night yeah, but really, really lovely products. Mm. Well, I like it. I like good skincare. So do I. It's a thing. It's a it's a ritual. It's nice. It's <laughs> it's the relaxation at the end of a long day. Yeah, and I love a good um, either oil cleanser or a balm. Yeah, really good. Uh, and I still love the balm. Um, I've got a few different ones. Um, Eve Long, which I'd never used. That's what you were telling me about was that one. That is beautiful. Yeah. Really good. Really good. So um, I will be buying a backup of that. Better than Not Sicily? Not while because I've got some others, but it is beautiful. Is okay. it better than Sicily? I think it is. Really? Okay. I think it is. It's slightly exfoliating. 
like it hasn't got anything rough in it and it sort of melts as you're putting the um, cleansing balm on. But it's, um, yeah, it's really, it's really beautiful. I mean, they're hard to explain. I mean, most balms will do their job, but I just love this one and I think it made my skin just well, no, better. I've tried enough balms to know that not all of them will remove your makeup as good. Some no. of them will still leave makeup behind. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's why I keep going back to the Sicily is it's, it just takes all my makeup off. I do have a Sicily in my cupboard, I think. <laughs> um, I think I have. So I there's have a few I need to get through that. And I've also, um, have you ever tried, because I bought Toe and then I got a whole lot of others and I never have used the second one yet. The brand and then I met you. No, that's the one you were telling me about. Yeah, it's really nice. That's a lovely cleanser. Yeah, a balm. Okay. It looks like um sorbet and it smell yeah, that is really good. And that's the is it Australian? I thought it was American. Mm. Was it? No, am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing it with something else. Um, let me look. Oh, no, that's wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong too. Um, let me just have a very quick look before I go. Let's have a look. Is, is that the one that, um, Cynthia from Sex in the City was using? Is that the one you were and, talking about? So, and it is made in it's got the address as New York. Okay, well then that's not the same one that we were talking about. It says that it's made in Korea. Okay, well then that's not the same one. The we woman that owns this brand is Asian. Um, yes, that's right. I'm just trying to think. So and it comes in, I won't open it, but it comes in this is what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. And this is the color of the balm, and it smells amazing. So that I might actually use that next. I've had this for quite a while now, so I actually need to um, need to use it. But yeah, so I've got that one. I've got quite a few others. But when I have gone through the ones that I've got, I will buy um, the Eve Lom again because I think it's really, really beautiful. And then I also bought a while ago the Dermalogica. When I very first, years and years ago, I don't even know what to think. When I had, I had just read it, I think, in a magazine about double cleansing and Dermalogica had their, well, they, they might have been one of the first ones that came out with their, came out with it. they had the cleansing oil. Yeah. Well, now they've got a cleansing balm, same thing, but it's a balm in a tube. And so I got that a little while ago, and it's still really good. Still I didn't know really. they had a balm. I used their cleansing oil. Mm. The cleansing oil. The cleansing, really yeah. Good. Yeah. Because I remember when I read about it, and I thought, oh, I'll give that a go. This is a long time ago. And then it was Dermalogica, that, and um, and I got it, and I was telling people what I did, and they were going, why? What, what, why are you washing your face twice? <laughs> they didn't understand. But I've been doing it ever since. Yeah. And that is a really nice, the Dermalogica oil is really lovely. But the balm and the tube is really good too. So that's really nice. I will have to look for that. Yeah. yeah I just really know good. that now. And Dermalogica is not cheap, but it's not really high end either. It's, But it's, it's certainly not cheap though. No. It's mid-range, I suppose. Yeah, like department store. Yeah. Okay, now I kept on talking. So now I will go. <laughs> do this an hour and a half. So right. thanks everyone for coming. And um, we will see you at, towards the end of November, beginning of December. And it will be on Liz's channel. So everyone have a great week. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.